Have you ever heard when somebody says your life is a joke or your life is like a roller coaster ride? You don't know whether you're coming or going, whether it's up or it's down. That is how I feel right now. <laughs> I'm no longer going to call you guys, but you are now my fam. Hi fam, uh, welcome to Conversations with Uza and Dimvega. Uma luandle, luandle ka lola lola zingo jane zane sambela. Le, kute pezulu, guys, I am still unable to, to put up a happy face and a smiling face because really, right now, life is not giving me a reason to smile but i know that at some point i have to pick up myself and pull up my big girl panties and just face this life thing head on you know because it has to continue nonetheless family now the conversation that i want us to have maybe you have you have found yourself in the situation before uh, but let us talk about this Maybe my situation is a bit complicated because I am a product of a polygamous marriage. My father had two wives. There was Uma Mkulu and we loved Uma Mkulu and her home. We, we were visiting there all the time. And whenever we visit there, because a Uma Mkulu was living in a place that has got a soil, that was so fertile. So my father was running something more like a farm in that soil. So he was planting everything that you can think of. Bananas, avos, um, purples, all sorts of, of, of fruits. He was just all about that. And you'll find all these women at the beach who were selling avos, bananas and whatnot. I was talking from my father because um, he was running something that was more like a farm there. Okay, and when we visit Kamamkulu, we were treated like normal children, but um, as we grow up, you know, things change. The first thing that I noticed that it started to change was the fact that my sisters from Umamkulu, immediately when they finished school, they started for jobs and whatnot. After they were qualified nurses and whatnot, they stopped visiting my mother's house. Now remember, I said to you, just just catch this. I'm from one, from a polygamous um, marriage. Uh, two, all the children from the other house, from the big house, big house and my mother's house, we were swapping, visiting each other from time to time. But one thing that I noticed was the fact that after these older sisters that I had qualified to do jobs and whatnot some of them were teachers some of them were nurses some of them they were just big things yeah my my, my family is an educated i'm from a, a a very a very rooted academic family everybody there has got a profession a qualification of some sort but as i am saying that when what i noticed that immediately they 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 qualified remember that these people were older than me you know, they were all older than me. I cannot even mention the gap, the year, the years of gaps that is between me and my sisters from Umam Kulwam, which is their first wife to my father. Uh, when they started qualifying for jobs and things like that and they were working, they stopped visiting my mother's house. But we, me and my sister, did not stop visiting my mother's house. Okay, fine. Let us Ibambe Lapo make a note of that underline that and now you know that i've recently lost my brother who is very dear to me um uh, this guy ever since my parents passing has been like a father to us has been like um everything especially when it comes to traditional matters he has been the one guiding us um you know she's having nimbepo for us and um whenever you want to do something you will consult him and you will never do anything where you will say, I'll call the elders without calling him. You, I, Just at the back of your head, when you say, I'm going to consult the elders or elders are required to do one, two, and three, three and four, you know that this is the person to consult. 
Oh fam, something happened. I was, or rather, let me say, we were. Okay, my sister, the one that I'm after, because remember, I'm the last born in the family. Now my conversation is here that I wanna have with you. I'm being introduced to this guy. My sister is pulling me out of the kitchen where I was busy helping people to finish up serving people. She claims that she wants to introduce me to this guy who is um, also Mzimela. Mzimela is our clan name, is Mfega. And she tells me that um, this is somebody that I have to be, I have to acquaint myself with because now that my brother is gone. <laughs> I don't have a problem with being introduced to this man because when I was looking at him, I have seen him before, but um, I have never really spoke much with him apart from greeting and greeting you know when you're greeting the elders in your car arriving at a function or at a funeral and you are greeting the elders and this person is there i don't have a problem with him but now all of a sudden he is being introduced to me as somebody who's actually going to take over or rather he's introducing himself as somebody who's going to take over my brother's duties and look after us after my brother is gone Okay, I don't have a problem with that, but my problem is here. Why my brother never introduced me to this guy before he died? Get my point? Why did my brother, who was taking care of us and looking after us all these years our parents have been gone it never dawned on him to tell us that there is a family like so and so and so and these people is also the people that we can rely on in terms of need in case he passes on i don't know guys i don't have an issue with this old man because he's quite old, he's, he even looks older than my brother. He's quite an old man, but I have questions. Uh, is it normal that I am questioning that there is somebody that is going actually going to look after us after after my brother is gone, and this person is only introduced now? Why? The question that I have, why my, 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 brother, my brother did not see the importance of introducing us to this person. I don't want to say if this person was a good person who could take good care of us. I don't want to say if he believed that this person would take good care of us. But it's just a general question. Have you ever find yourself in the situation that I am at, where you are at the crossroads? You feel like you are all alone in this earth. The person that was has been looking after you for so many years and doing it a, a stellar job and all of a sudden this person is gone and you're being introduced to somebody who is going to take over and you don't understand where this person is coming from. Just like mushrooms. Out of nowhere and boom. Here is the person that is going to look after you. Don't worry, we are here, my child. He spoke so well. You know, he spoke so well to us and um he assured us well he assured me because it seems like i was maybe i was the only one who didn't know about him i don't know he told me i don't know because we don't talk much with my sister after the saga of her not attending my um wedding i decided that i love her i love her so much but i love her from a distance because a person who can do that to you what else is she capable of doing doing to you so that is um, the, just the mentality that I've always had. I know that I love her deep down my heart. She is my blood. We share the same DNA. We are from the same womb. We are from the same sperm. But I've told myself that after they did what they did, I told myself that now this woman, I just have to love her from a distance because I don't know what else she's capable of. Maybe she knew about this all along, but because we don't talk much, apart from hi, hi, on WhatsApp, and that's it, and the call, quick call, are you okay, and that's it. We're no longer heart to heart like we used to be when we were in high school and growing up, you know. 
Have you ever find yourself in a contradictory situation and you don't know what to believe, what, who to trust, how to move on with life? Let's have this conversation. You know, family feuds, or, or rather, let me say, things that happen in the family that hurt you so much, such that you even find yourself in a situation when, when, where you don't even know who to trust in the family that is being introduced to you. Let us discuss this. Maybe from the conversation that we are going to have today, you will actually give me a solution because I am so, so confused. I am so, so confused. I am heading since the funeral. I came back to my house. I've never went out. I've locked myself inside my house. I've just been crying, crying, crying my eyes out. <laughs> but at the end of the day, life has to go on, right? Life has to go on and uh, I don't know. I want to hear your views. What's your take on the matter? How do you feel when you have already accepted that, yeah, when I went and done, you are alone and no one cares about you. You don't have a family or what's not. The person that cared about you is gone. And all of a sudden, boom, somebody is being introduced to you that, no, my child, don't worry. I'm going to take care of you. You are not alone. We know that your brother has left, and but he's, he never left you alone. We are here for you. How do you feel or how, if it has ever happened to you, how have you handled such a situation? Because I don't know how to feel. Maybe after a month or six months or whatnot, I will, my head will, will clear up and I will, I'll think straight. But right now, everything that I am trying to make sense of is just diluted by a lot that has happened. Why didn't he see the necessity of introducing me to this old man if this old man would have been the right person to take care of us? Am I thinking too much about this? Am I hurting too much not to see the light in front of me? Am I sitting in the dark space so much because I'm crying so much I've lost somebody that has been everything to me so much such that I even... I'm even failing to see how the life is going to move on from here. Please, guys, give me some advices. You are my family. You know? You may be strangers, but family come in different forms and shapes and sizes. doesn't have to be somebody who's sharing the same DNA as you are. But right now, I am in that space where I really... Where things that can be said by strangers can make sense maybe better than the people that have been called my family. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow, share and comment. The name is Zandi. The surname is Mfega. I love you guys. I love you.